What's going on, everybody? Um, I'm doing uh, Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 1. <laughs> I don't know why I'm torturing myself doing this, but I have a lot of people that still keep asking me, like, I'm playing 4 right now, and they're like, yo, man, what is this game, man? Like, I've never seen this before, I never heard of this, and I'm like, I can't believe up to this point nobody has heard of this game. So, uh, I've been going back and forth in my head about <laughs> recording and doing um, a playthrough of the other three games. I still have them. It's my favorite series. So, But I got to my new channel and everything, and I figured, what the hell, I'll go ahead and do it. Um, this is, I beat the game already. Um, so, I got clear data here. Now, when you clear it, it, add, it it gives you a chance to restart the game in a new game plus, and you get like to carry over like your levels and rush stuff like this. But you, I only get five new game plus points. The more you beat the game, the more points you get to be able to get bonus stuff. Um, I'm mainly doing this for story purposes and to show people the game that are interested in the game. So I'm not really caring about like doing some sort of platinum run or whatever like that. I, hell, I'm even thinking about doing the game on normal and not nightmare. I might do it on nightmare because I already beat it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Cause I really don't want to spend too much time like playing it all day long. You know? I mean, playing it for hours and hours and hours trying to beat. You think this, this, this game is not a cakewalk on um, on Nightmare? It's not. It, it's tough. Oh man, I'm. I'm I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Mm. Okay. <laughs> uh, God damn it. Um, hold on one second. Let me see something. Okay. Okay. But um I guess I'm gonna start with this. I'll keep this their status and their book data and stuff like that. Some of that stuff I didn't exactly get a trophy for on my first playthrough because I was so into the game and I wasn't really giving a shit about trophies and all that stuff like that. But um I'll I guess I can do all that stuff. Wait, let me see something. Sorry. Okay, yeah. Items and stuff like that. So I'm 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 gonna run through the game. Uh I'll try not to spoil so you can kind of see things for yourself. I'll have my little tidbits of information in between. But, um, <laughs> God, I can't believe I'm doing this shit. <laughs> uh, but I'll, I'll try to keep quiet during the cutscenes when they, you know, doing their thing and everything like that. And, uh, so you guys can just see the game and see how it all, like, why this is such a great game and the story in it and everything like that. Or, or you may not give a damn and be like, this game sucks. I don't know. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna start it. Uh, God damn it, do I want to play it on Nightmare? I'll try. I I'll, I'll do the shit on Nightmare. God damn it! <laughs> I don't know why. Oh 
Okay. I'm probably gonna die like in the beginning of the fucking game. I remember I tried this shit on Nightmare when I first got it. This shit was uh, absolutely fucking ridiculous. At least at that point in time. I got better at the game now, so I mean, maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'm tripping. It's no use. You can't even scratch them. What's happening? Who's in control of those things? Get in touch with the 4th Armored Division. We need backup from Lieutenant General Craig. When I, put, when I first, I picked this game up on a whim. This is the craziest shit about this game. I just picked it up on a whim. I was in the store looking for something new to play. And I ran into this shit and was like, God, what the hell is this? You know what I'm saying? And I remember playing Trails in the Sky a long time before. And I really liked that game, but uh, my PSP had messed up. It was on PSP only at that point in time. Oh, hold up, they finna talk. This is awful. These graphics look nice on here, though. PlayStation 5 doing his job. How terrible. I can smell smoke. Are they using gunpowder? They've completely blindsided us. It appears that everything else they've done today was to serve as a decoy, even making the tanks go haywire. Right. It looks like their real target was the railway guns all along. Which means they must be serious about targeting that trade conference in Crossbell City. They wouldn't! How long can they possibly sink? So, they're intent on taking the Chancellor's head after all. Resorting to such wanton violence? This is absolutely outrageous. <sighs> Please, let us help. We don't know if reinforcements are on the way, and it doesn't look like we have much time left. We have to stop them before they can activate the railway guns. Green's right. I don't know how much we can really do, but considering the alternative, we have to try. Right. I'm not about to let those terrorists have their way. Looks like any attempt to convince you otherwise would fall on deaf ears. All right. Reen, you and the rest of Group A are with me. Group B, you'll be under the command of Major Nightheart. One group will secure the gun in the right wing. The other group will secure the left. This is an actual combat situation with real lives at stake. I expect the best from each of you. Yes, sir. All right, Class 7. Our objective is to stop the activation of the railway guns. We've learned a lot at the Academy. It's time to put that knowledge to the test. Right. All right. Yeah, but I, I picked this game up on a whim, and it was, I, I played it, and just absolutely was like, what in the hell? is this game and I got hooked man I was um I want her yeah Oops. Okay. no offense to the boys but uh let me tell you something about these two women right here they are fucking amazing <laughs> That's all I can tell you. Oh, I guess they ain't giving none of that stuff yet. Here they come. <gasps> they look just like that thing we fought during our field study. You think about it. You now this this, this game starts off like this. Mechanical monstrosities. Save the talking for later. We need to take these things out. So it immediately sucks you in. Got it. We have nothing to fear. 
and you, you go straight to doing the battle system and you're like okay like what the hell is this what do i do or like what is you know um uh, let's see something do i need to scan them to start off no So I'm probably not gonna have to scan most of these things throughout the game. There are some things I missed on my uh, other playthrough. Um, so you'll see me scan some stuff and some stuff you won't. But you probably won't give a shit. So. My turn. Um. Second four. Damn. Desert chance! And one for me! Yeah! Uh... Arcus, activate! Of course! Maybe because I beat it, it'll be a little bit more balanced on Leave the, it to me. the new game playthrough. I like the one I played on the other. That shit. Man. <laughs> I'm so used to the other game. I'm trying to there. control it. Right. Man, see, Leave look it at to that me. shit. Ooh, man. Look at the damage they do. That's what'll kill you right there. It's like, bro. Do it. Got it. Right. Ha! This isn't looking good. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. Nice. Cool. Huh. Here Damn. we go. I thought his magic was better than that. Now's a chance. And one for me. Of course. Hey. Evil will fall before my blade. Hey, do you see how I almost got bodied by a regular enemy? It's a regular goddamn enemy, man. Those things were the same as the one we fought outside the Graham. It seems a large number of them are on the loose inside the fortress. I'm guessing that's what got the soldiers we just saw, too. It seems so. So these are archaisms. Are you certain, Instructor? Yeah, they're a kind of autonomous weapon made by a rather unsavory group. And a real pain to deal with, too. We need to hurry, but keep your wits about you. <laughs> I feel like they did more voice acting here. <laughs> I hate to say that, but I'm, I'm serious. I, I, I honestly feel that damn way. I really feel like they did more voice acting on here than they did in the old, in the older ones. I, I mean, in the uh, newer ones. I don't know what it, what it is in between those scenes. This is just a straight shot. I welcome all challengers. My turn. Damn it. Caught me slipping. Um. The second form. Damn. Yeah. Hmm. Gleaming blade. Go. Right. Yeah, like, but like Laura, man, and, and uh... no escape. 
evil will fall I don't before see how blade. stupid powerful that girl is. Yeah, so you're gonna see me use her rain watch this game. Like they are just together, them two are like powerhouses, man. They are nasty. You the the hell? Teacher. <laughs> All right. All right, let's do this. Right, understood. Understood. Keep forgetting to do that. Okay. That was like a little go-to move on here. Um. I'll just hit him with water. Okay. Didn't see that coming. Now. Right. Huh? Off guard. I'll help. Here we go. That's the power of the eight leaves. We have nothing to fear. My turn. Leave it to me. Okay. Yeah. Right. Evil will fall before my blade. Okay. Uh, we can go with No. Uh, four is broken there. All right, y'all gotta forgive me. I ain't played this in a long time, so. Yeah, this is how you used to have to. Uh, you bust these boxes and you have to actually pick up the item. If there was one in there. Pretty sure there's a boss fight coming up here. Um, yeah, let me just go ahead and over. No, I'll go over right all this. Definitely lighter than uh Where are we? This must be Gorelia Canyon. You can see Crossbell the, uh, State on the other forth. side. There! Those are the railway guns. They're enormous. Damn! How did they manage to get them prepped so fast? Don't tell me they're just gonna let them rip without even setting a target! Instructor! Well, they're certainly not shy about bringing out the big guns. Ugh! We don't have time for this! We need to take these things out fast! Right there with you! Yeah, it's probably Let's not gonna happen that fast. these greetings to the scrap heap. Creep. You messed with the wrong teacher! Go! I love it. Alright. Alright, let's, get let's do this! Right, understood! Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not good. I'm bringing the thunder now! Shield us from harm. Crescent shot. Right. She ah, uh, she didn't have an MP move. Shatter. She's getting that. 
Here we go. There. Cancel. Now's our chance. And one for me. My turn. Um. Well, damn it. Okay. Didn't see that coming. Do it. Go. Leave it to me. Didn't see that coming. Now. Go. Okay. Gotta abuse it as much as I can. Uh, she don't have anything. Or to hit it with, huh? Damn. Arcus, activate. My turn. Got one of them. Yeah. Arcus, activate. Now. Right. Huh? Now. I uh have. -huh. Here we go. All right. Okay. Got one. Um, well, yeah, I'll just attack it. Do it! Go! My turn! Now! I forgot how fast she was on here. My turn! Yeah, you'll notice, you'll notice playing this game how, and you'll feel like, yeah, they kind of nerfed Sarah Shut a little her. bit. Sarah was very, like, she I stood out on here. But, it, I mean, it's my turn. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Um... Oh, Moon, shield us from harm. Okay. Do it. Go. Here we go. Ha. Uh. Please. My turn. Ha. Right. To do it. Let's see you live through this. I'm gonna pace myself through this game. Um, I think this one is the shortest one out of all of them, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna try to pace myself through this one, and uh, while I'm still playing four. I should have a lot less tinkering to do because of uh, all the stuff I got to keep. A self-destruct mechanism. Does their cowardice know no bounds? We're running but, out of time. Uh, we'll... I'm gonna go on ahead. Follow gonna, me as I'm soon gonna as make, you're I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna push myself through this. I'm gonna push, I'm gonna push myself through it. Man, I can't believe I decided to do it. I don't, these are some long, long games. God, these are some long games.
railway guns. No, no, no! No. Don't! I hope y'all appreciate this though, man. <laughs> well, Here we go. Oh, man. I'm gonna try to knock this game out as fast as I can while I'm playing the other one. Uh, part two is real long. God. Yeah, part two is... I think the third one is the longest so far that I've played. I hear that four is the longest. But I mean, I'm in, I'm in the middle of it, well, kind of like the I guess the first third of it. Yeah, but uh, this is gonna be something. So it shows you something from the middle, and then it takes you back five months earlier to um, what went down to that led up to that. And it's some stuff that led up to it, and the reason why all of it's happening. So I hope y'all enjoy this journey. Here we have Reen, the introduction of the main character of the series. I like Reen. And there's a lot of people that don't like Reen. They think he's kind of a... The Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. This train is bound for Bereahard via Keldic. The next stop is Trista. Trista. We will be stopped at Trista for one minute. When disembarking, please ensure no belongings <laughs> are left minute? behind. It could at least be like a five Who's minute. <laughs> God, dog. Man, spring's really in full bloom here, huh? Yeah, but a lot of people don't like green. They think green like is too like powerful. Back home, there was still so much snow on the ground. I hardly even realized it. But I, I and you know, you know the main the main characters are usually like Boy Scouts. You know, they want to help everybody do everything. But I like Green Man. Green's a solid character to me. I like him a lot. Still don't like it more than I like a, a Stell and Joshua. Stell and Joshua just like the gold standard to me of what a main character should be for a boy and girl. Like starting off 
I still can be a little annoying to some people, but I liked her. I thought she was cool. But Joshua is like, Joshua's the dude. <laughs> Look at his, his PlayStation 3 graphics. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad though. The, uh, I think the uh, PlayStation Five is definitely gave it this wow sixty frames feel and I don't think I'm gonna have to do all the fishing and all that stuff either. I think uh, it keeps all this track of all that stuff, so I could probably skip a lot of that, which will cut down on game time. Collecting all the food and all this stuff like that, I probably don't have to do none of that. Are those stuff. Lino flowers? I'll see. I've never seen so many all blossoming at once. I'll be spending the next two years That's here. That's side stuff anyway that nobody wonder how long it'll about. be before I think of it as home. But yeah. I think I'm going to like it. And there's Elisa. Uh, uh. Ouch! Whoa, sorry about that. Are you okay? I should have picked a better place to take in the scenery. Uh. Don't worry about it. I should have been paying more attention to where I was going instead of gawking at the flowers. See what I'm saying? Like, she just, it's, she's the canon girl. You could try to look at any other woman, but she's the canon girl. She meets our main character within the first minute. They have, like, these very ridiculous scenes together. And then the thing about her is in her scenes where the romance happens... They actually like will kiss, whereas with other girls, the other girls he'll like, you know, I've seen videos where he'll just like hold their hand or they'll like get close or this, this, that. I, I think he kisses a couple of them later in the other games, but like with her, it's their scenes are very like I know in three they like kiss, like I, I, I don't think anybody else he he actually kisses. She's the main girl. It's really a pretty town though, isn't it? Just like a postcard. Yeah, I guess that's the magic of springtime for you. I hope everything in your case is okay. Oh, don't worry about that. It'll be fine. Hey, you've got the red uniform too, huh? Yeah, but now that you mention it, almost everyone else on the train had a green jacket. You're one of the few I've seen in red. I didn't really think about it until now. I just put on the uniform they sent me. I hadn't given it much thought until I got here either. <laughs> Look at that clipping. <laughs> With her hair. <laughs> yeah, like you said, there have been a few others sporting them too, so I doubt it's a mistake. Maybe it means we'll end up being classmates. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, I should get going. I've got a feeling we'll see each other again at the entrance ceremony though. I totally forgot to ask your name. Oh well, I'm sure we'll run into each other later. She's right though. It is weird that there are so few of us in red. Are there even enough to make a class? Mm. That orbman they sent with the uniform is pretty strange too. It sure looks a lot fancier than your standard issue orbman, that's for sure. I'm gonna try to keep this uh, with uh, just like key scenes. There's no point in racking my brain over it. Someone will probably explain it during orientation. Key things, stuff like that. Thor's military academy is on the north side of town. I've still got some time to look around before the entrance ceremony, but it'd be pretty awkward to be late the first day. But I am gonna do like quests and stuff like that. But I don't think I'll have to do um, the fishing and stuff like that. And that cuts down on time. Alright, this is where you first get control of him. Um, probably won't have everything filled out yet. Once the game opens up, it should. 
Okay, yeah, and this, these are two things you get in the beginning now. With the new game plus is the Russian burst. But in the beginning, you don't get those right off the bat. You have to build up links and all that stuff like that. Um, Alright, let's just move it around. So... Oh, hey, it looks like there's even a little park here. Seems like the perfect spot to catch a breather, what with all these shops around. And here is huh? the sleepy time. I'll sleep anywhere, it doesn't matter. Fee. Like, absolutely ridiculous. She just just gets on the Why bench. Is she and just, sleeping here? This is out. Is she, she just straight gets robbed. She's got the uniform and all. <laughs> she does not care, man. The ceremony is going to be starting soon. Maybe I should wake her up. Uh. Uh. Um. Guess I better go. <laughs> She's straight wolf to go. Out. She's sure a strange one. Like a stray cat or something. If she's headed to the school, I'd say that's my cue to pick up the pace. Alright. Uh there's people around, but I mean I'm gonna try to keep it to So this is the town chapel. Seems like it's about the same size as the one back home. I think I, maybe I need to probably use a guide to help me just do the key stuff. I don't know. And here's Gaius getting his prey on. Oh. Someone's already here. Hmm? Sorry. Am I in your way? Oh, no. Not at all. Good, good. If you'll excuse me then. See how tall that guy is? Like, I, th I swear I thought Gaius was going to end up being like seven feet. That's something one like tall that. guy. And judging by his complexion, I don't think he's from Erebonia. But he's wearing a red uniform too. Just like me and that girl. Ah, oh, well. While I'm here, I might as well get in a prayer for the start of the school year before I take off. Uh, yeah, the generic female student. She kind of looked like one of the uh, characters, though. I forget her name. And this is where you get your fish on. Hopefully, I'm probably not going to have to do some of that. Uh, we'll keep it moving. I shall take my leave here, milady. I pray you find victory here in both your studies and your training. Thank you, Klaus. So this is Laura. I'm leaving everything in your hands while Father is away. And Understood, Laura my is, lady. Laura is the strongest person in school. Like she came there as the strongest fighter in the school. Oh, please excuse my rudeness, young sir. It truly is a splendid day, is it not? The start of a new chapter in the lives of so many promising youths. Allow me to express my sincerest congratulations on your admittance into this fine academic institution. Oh. Thank you very much. 
I think Klaus is like their butler. I'm guessing he's a butler. Yeah. He certainly looks the part. But that he means also the girl uh, with him must have been a noble. And he also trained Laura a little bit as well. She did have a certain dignity about her. I wonder if she's from a famous military family or something. All right. A generic student. Yeah, what is this lady's name? La uh, is it Lati or Loti? I forget her name, but this is the lady I think you gave uh, the food to. The superb food or whatever. So this is it. Soundtrack is killing on here too. Thor's Military Academy. Founded by the legendary Emperor Dreykels himself. Oh boy. Well put up in the lack. <laughs> I don't know why that car reminds me so much of a Cadillac. It's like a, it's, I guess it's Thank like a limo in the game, but like <laughs> at the academy. Much obliged. Boy, pull up in the lag, bro. <laughs> Me to take your luggage that won't be necessary I prefer to avoid standing out too much but sir this isn't open for debate take whatever rest you need then return to Berea hard got my damn phone again I swear to God it wants some in the morning Shit. as you wish I shall be departing sir May your time spent in these hallowed halls be all you've hoped for. Please take care of yourself. Wow! An Orbal limousine! And one of Reinford's fanciest models, too. Looks like even Erebonia's upper crusts send their children here. And this is Toa and George. You're, let's see, yes, you're the last of them. That'd make you Breen Schwarzer, right? Uh, yes, that's me. It's a pleasure to meet you. But how do you know me? <laughs> it's a long story. Don't sweat the details right now. Is that your weapon you've got wrapped up? I'll need to hold on to that for the time being. Oh, right. It mentioned something about that in the guidebook. Thanks. Chubby boy. <laughs> I should be able to return it to you before long. Spoke Hardly up, even man. miss it. <laughs> the entrance ceremony is going to be held in the auditorium. Just head straight back. You can't miss it. My boy could get a bigger suit, though. God damn. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy your first day at Thor's. We're glad to have you. I hope these next two years will be a fruitful time for you. They could have got my boy extra, extra, extra lord or something, dog. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess those two must be second years? That girl definitely looked younger than me, though. What was that about me being the last? I'm not seriously the very last student to check in, am I? Probably are. Sounds like it's about time for the ceremony to start, though. Well, here's to the start of a great two years. Now, if I may, I'd like to say a few words in closing about this Academy's illustrious history.
Thor's military academy was founded almost 220 years ago. Its founder, as I'm sure you're all aware, was none other than the great Emperor Dreykels. The very same Emperor who ended the War of the Lions and returned prosperity to the Erebonian Empire. Thirty years after becoming Emperor, in the later years of his life, he opened the doors of this institution. It was to be a place where young people like yourselves could learn the art of war. But with the mechanization of the military, many of our graduates now pursue careers outside the army. Our mission, however, remains the same. To prepare our students to fulfill Emperor Dreykel's famous mandate. Arise, O oh youth, and become the foundation of the world. Though much has happened these past two and a quarter centuries, the world is still the domain of the young. Yet still the question remains, what qualities must one possess to become a part of its foundation? I hope this credo will serve as a guide and an inspiration to you during your two years at this academy. Go forth, my students. The world awaits the great things you will one day accomplish. The hell of a speech, man. The foundation of the world, huh? <laughs> no pressure, right? Yeah, no kidding. Though, this is Dreykel's the Lionheart we're talking about. He didn't earn his nickname by taking the easy road. Guess we've got more to worry about than just passing exams, huh? <laughs> I guess we do. Mr. Elliot? I'm Elliot Craig. Nice to meet you. Reen Schwarzer. Hey, looks like we're sporting the same school fashion. Yeah, no idea what the red uniform is supposed to mean, though. Most of the other students are wearing green. Well, except for the ones in the white uniforms. Those must be the nobles. Looks that way. Though... Hmm? Something wrong? Nah, just thinking to myself. And that brings us to the close of Thor's 215th entrance ceremony. Next, please proceed to the class designated in your guidebook. There, you will go over the school rules as well as your class's curriculum. That is all. Dismissed! <laughs> the class designated in our guidebook? I don't remember seeing anything like that. There wasn't any information on that in mine either. I just assumed they'd tell us where to go after the ceremony. All right! Students in red uniforms, if I can have your attention, please. <laughs> Whoever this voice, voice actress is for this, uh, for Sarah, is like so bubbly. <laughs> it's ridiculous. By now, you're probably all confused. Where's my class assignment, you're probably thinking? That's perfectly understandable. Your situation is a little more complicated than the other students. But before I explain, I'd like all of you to join me for a special orienteering exercise. What? Did you mean an orientation exercise? Hmm. Worry not. Everything will be made clear soon enough. Now, right this way, if you would. <laughs> um. Looks like we're gonna have to follow her if we want any answers. <sighs> what do you think this is all about? I have no idea, but we're not going to accomplish anything just standing around here. We should go with her. Hmm? <laughs> Hilarious. First day what of school. What is First this place? Day. Why is there a building this dilapidated on campus? 
It looks like it should have been torn down ages ago. Who the fuck uses the word dilapidated? <laughs> I'm a writer, and I don't even use that damn word. <laughs> what does she even want us to do here? Is she ever going to tell us what's going on? I suppose we'll just have to go inside and see for ourselves what awaits us. Th this place looks like some old haunted like mansion or something. Here. Now that you mention it, it kind of does. I think this is everyone I've seen with a red uniform so far. I guess we really are part of the same class then. And here is Angelica and Crow. So, these are our new underclassmen, huh? Yep. They've got a different set of hoops to jump through than we did, though. Angelica with the suit, though. I'm wow. just happy all our work's paying off. I'd hate to have put in a year's worth of effort for nothing. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Wait, when did you do any work? You were just slacking off the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Says the master slacker. Still, looks like Elisa's got some stiff competition. Quite a bevy of beauties they've got there. And I'm looking forward to getting intimately acquainted with each and every one of them. Yeah, Angelica plays for the other team. So yeah, there's that. Oh, you know one of them? Er, wait. No, no, not these ones too. Stop flirting with every damn girl you lay eyes on. Do you have any idea how many guys at this school have gotten their hearts broken because of your libido? Uh -huh. <laughs> did, did you just sneer at me? Oh, you did, didn't you? Come on now, no fighting, you two. <laughs> well, look who finally made it. Nice work. You got our little chickadees all sorted out, I take it? Yep, they're all bright-eyed and ready to go. So from here on out, we're gonna have to give it all we've got to support this fledgling class. <laughs> now you sound the part of the student council president. Guess she's going all in. Well, they'd be in for a pretty rough time if we didn't help out a little. At least to start with, anyway. Everything's ready over there, right? You betcha. Just like the instructor asked. Can't help but feel a little sorry for them, though. Same here. They've got no idea what they're being tossed into. The class they've been picked for didn't even exist before this year. Guess all we can do is watch and see what they're made of, right? Welcome to the old schoolhouse. Basically a training ground. But this old schoolhouse has some... Well, I mean, uh, it's, it's some shit in here. Let's just say it like that. The name's Sarah Valestein. I'm the instructor in charge of Class 7, which means you get the pleasure of seeing me all year. Glad to finally meet you. Wait. Class 7? Uh, us? I'm not sure I understand. I wasn't told anything about this at enrollment. Excuse me, Instructor Sarah? I was under the impression that there were only five classes at this academy, and that students were split among them based on their social class and home region. Right you are, Miss Top Scorer on the Thor's entrance exam. Students in each year are divided into five classes, two for the nobility and three for commoners. And it's been that way for ages, right up through last year. But this year, we decided to shake things up a little. Wh what do you... We now have a sixth class. Fittingly titled, Class 7. And in Class 7, we recognize <laughs> no distinction between nobles and commoners. Wait, you just jumped straight from 5 to 7? 
You're really putting nobles and commoners in the same class? <laughs> this must be some kind of joke. And why is this the first I've heard of it? Well, uh... Um... Who are you again? <laughs> Machias Regnitz. And with all due respect, Instructor, it's ludicrous to intermix nobles and commoners like this! Yeah. Must I be forced to spend my next two years shoulder to shoulder with those arrogant, stuck-up hedonists? Uh, you do know I'm not the one who made the decision, right? Besides, what's the big deal anyway? You're all kids. Can't you all just get along or something? Is it just <laughs> get along? <laughs> and how would you propose we do that? <laughs> and what's your problem? Oh, nothing much. I just find the irony of your behavior rather humorous. <laughs> Is that so? It seems the scion of some noble house has left the comfort of his mansion to grace the unwashed masses with his wisdom. Please, my lord, do share your esteemed name with us so I can give you all the respect you deserve. Eusis Alborea. Not that I'd expect the name of an arrogant, stuck-up hedonist to lodge itself in that hard head of yours. He's from one of the four great houses! The son of Duke Alborea, Lord of the Kreutzen province in the southeast. Well, you don't get much more noble than that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I'd heard the rumors. expect me to be impressed? Your family lineage means nothing to me. I'll never bend my knee to the likes of... Okay, okay, that's enough. Thank you for getting the whole of that shit. I'm sure a couple of you have a few grievances, but now's not the time. I'll hear your complaints later. Right now, you've got your orienteering exercise, and far be it for me to keep you from our fun little icebreaker. <sighs> You mentioned this orienteering exercise earlier. What exactly does that involve? It's a form of outdoor competition, isn't it? Something like a cross between a map reading exercise and a scavenger hunt? <sighs> Is that why they asked us to hand over our weapons at the gate? Nothing gets by you, does it? To spoil the fun, so let's get started, shall we? What? <gasps> oh, crap. What? Fee. Fee with the clutch, though. <laughs> Come on, Fee. <laughs> no cheating. You're going with them and that's that. What's the point in having an icebreaker if you don't make a couple of new friends? Ugh, lame. <laughs> oh, what just happened? Floor gave out from under us. I can't believe I fell for such an obvious trap. Does this mean there's a series of catacombs beneath the school grounds then? <sighs> what does that woman think she's playing at? Was going to jump out of my chest. 